Derek, what do you know about this? Uh, this started uh, around Ormsby in Old Louisville? Ormsby and Preston in the Old Louisville neighborhood, as you mentioned there, Gary. This call really just came in in the last few minutes. Our chopper, uh, Sky 11, happened to be up on an earlier flight as we're continuing to watch this vehicle out of control, weaving in and out of traffic. No regard for lights other vehicles and, and seemingly humans, anyone's safety right there. We saw it lost, I believe, looks like a uh, rear view mirror there. What was that, Megan? I'm sorry. Newburgh Road, this is where this is happening right now. And you can see, we have not seen the police, but we do know they are in pursuit. Sky 11 keeping its camera focused on that vehicle being pursued right now. At this point, Gary, no word on how many people may be in that vehicle. Obviously, at least one driver going up onto the, up sidewalk. On the sidewalk. People yeah. on oh, the gosh. sidewalk. My goodness. These kinds of situations never, that looks like Bardstown Road there in oh. the Highlands. And going the wrong way now. Um, uh, obviously, Bardstown Road is compressed uh, to one direction now. They're now the, we see they're that the, uh, they're the police, police vehicle. just about two lengths behind. Yeah, we can imagine that as this call is going out, as the chopper is now directly above it, trying to reposition its camera. Uh, so bear with us as uh, the camera moves around, folks. The chopper is fine. They're trying to just reposition there in the Highlands area. But you can imagine that police are trying to at least somewhat anticipate where this person is going and trying to be in front of them to try to bring this to a quick stop. Now we understand this started with a shooting. What do you know about the shooting incident? Was anybody injured there? That's what that is the information our assignment desk is still making calls on right now getting in touch with Metro EMS to find out if anyone was injured in that shooting. But the immediate thing was that after that shooting this car chase happened and you can see this person has been weaving left and right. Is that Broadway uh, booth? Not, I'm not sure if that is Broadway or not, but we know it was headed towards the downtown area from the Highlands there where uh, Bartstown Road meets with Broadway. I don't know that he would have gotten uh, that far to get down to Broadway, but certainly on some, uh, on some smaller side streets now. And if the cops can get in front of him, they may be able to, uh, to head him off. This started uh, in Old Louisville near Ormsby and Preston. There was a shooting incident, and we know very little about it. But apparently uh, the suspect in that shooting jumped in a car and took off. Uh, and I believe this is a stolen vehicle that we uh, that we understand. Uh, that, that may be some of the information that we're getting in um, now on Barrett Avenue. Uh, one of the things, unfortunately, I'm reminded of as we think about the safety of everyone here, especially the officers. We had that chase earlier this year that unfortunately ended with a crash that uh, took the life of a Louisville Metro Police well, officer. And, Nick and, and at these speeds, you have to think about pedestrians because that car for for city streets, that car is flying. It's flying two lanes on either side of the road, narrow streets. And even when you turn into those neighborhoods, the streets get even more narrow with parked cars on the side. And we know what time of day. This is 519. Mm -hmm. This is the heart of rush hour here yeah. in the metro, regardless of a holiday weekend. It's still a Thursday afternoon and folks are getting off of work. This is now on Breckenridge, we're being told by our booth and our assignment desk. Several Louisville Metro police officers in pursuit of this vehicle, Gary. This is, uh, this is hard to watch. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, this is not something that we see very often in Louisville, mm -hmm. but uh, uh, often uh, this is a, a, a piece that we would like pick up in California. Police chases are very common. Very out common there. there in the LA area. There are their freeways, which are much wider, and unfortunately, they deal with this all the time. And we see their uh, police helicopters and news helicopters over those scenes, but nothing like this do we see very often here in Louisville. I can probably count on one hand the number of times we've seen a police chase like this. Yeah. Now the now the police look like they may have no backed away. I thought for a, for a second certainly. Uh, this uh, driver in the stolen car is uh, uh, leading the police on a very circuitous route trying to shake them, but uh, as we know, uh, these things usually end badly for the person being pursued. That is that is true, and one thing I also uh, am thinking about is people may think, well, why are police still putting... Why may police be chasing this person mm -hmm. and also be in danger as well? Because they do have a policy. They will only chase if someone uh, they believe has committed a felony. They will chase that person. Well, shots were fired earlier, so we, we know that uh, there is a potential felony there because mm -hmm. uh, uh, firing a gun. And I'm, uh, we're seeing at least four uh, police cars in pursuit right now. And that's Jackson Street you just said there, uh, Jenny? Jackson Street? And police still... 
just turned off of Jackson okay. now. All right. All right. This what may do we be got here. It's getting a little bit more dicey. This person is looking for any open road, any sidewalk. Ah, and there it is. We it's believe open. they may have that person cornered right there. Um, okay, let's watch. We're going to be clock. careful okay. with what we show here, but hopefully yeah, okay. this they, person gives themselves up. They are on the ground, hands out. By, uh, surrounded by, yep. Surrounded, surrounded by and the more than is, one person in the vehicle. Now we know. They're on the ground now. And, and it looks the, like a third person. So at least three people who are in that four now on the ground. And, and at least a dozen police officers and four police cars uh, surrounding this. The pursuit has ended here. We understand that this was close to Jackson Street, but he went through a uh, what appeared to be uh, a parking lot or a vacant lot and then wound up trying to turn back. And this is on St. Catherine, we are now being told. And you also have to think, you've got four individuals that are now in police custody. Um, obviously too early to tell who these people are, but we do know this is in connection to a shooting that happened in Old Louisville. And with all of this, this how long this chase ended, there are multiple scenes that police have to go to now. Right. What, very interesting, though, uh, this started in Old Louisville, and now it's in St. Catherine, so it ended in Old Louisville. It, he led police on a sort of circuitous route down Eastern Parkway, uh, came all the way around the uh, eastern part of the city and wound up back in Old Louisville. Uh, it looks like this has ended peacefully, and uh, that's good news. Uh, nobody, nobody, no shots fired, no people have been injured, and uh, so far it looks like uh, at least four people are in custody. Uh, the doors are open on the vehicle that was being pursued. We understand it was a stolen vehicle, but how Four people wound up in a stolen vehicle, I do not know. Yeah, that is the big question here. And you can see the number of officers that responded to this incident, Gary. And I go back again, unfortunately, to that case with Officer Nick Rodman. Anytime you hear police chase in this city since that incident, you know the hairs kind of stand up on the back yeah. of your neck. We yeah. hope this does not end uh, in a bad way. Fortunately, this situation, look, look at the number of those cars. That is amazing to me. That could be an entire how police division right many, there. Yeah. How many police cars responded? Uh, it, it's, there's an overwhelming police presence there, and I'm not sure that it was even uh, that we even needed that many police cars. Uh, it seems to me like uh, once it was surrounded by three or four police cars, and the officers mm -hmm. had these guys on the ground, that we didn't need to go any further. But it seems like every uh, police officer in that particular division uh, responded to this. Uh, runaway car but and the other part of this is that you have the investigation now underway back there uh in old louisville where this initial shooting take place i imagine the major crimes unit will be uh taking the lead on that part of the investigation lieutenant emily mckinley as well as the detectives in her unit are going to be taking that part of the investigation you also have this scene here and i really am concerned gary when we saw that vehicle go up on the sidewalk and you saw pedestrians there people yeah. were standing there literally jumping out of the way to avoid being hit how those people are doing right now. We do have Dennis Ting who is on the way to one of the scenes. I believe Anna Rivera as well. So we have some crews working to get you information on the ground as it develops. I'm thinking two dozen police officers now surrounding this scene and and it depends on what happened at the location where this started. Mm -hmm. there, there was a shooting we understand were there injuries involved are these folks facing firearms charges? Uh, it, were there any people hurt or wounded there? And then you had uh, multiple suspects uh, removed from this car. And obviously they're going to face charges that are associated with uh, fleeing the police mm -hmm. and endangering folks uh, on the street. So uh, all of those charges, uh, as we usually refer to it in the mm -hmm. news business, it will be a laundry list of charges facing these yeah, guys. Yeah, usually once these guys are charged, if they are charged and in fact booked at Metro Corrections tonight, we'll see that arrest slip in the morning that details what police say happened. Mm -hmm. And the, like you said, what will likely be a long list of charges. Uh, but just looking at the number of police officers here, this is quite significant. Gary, this has been a violent week. We had uh, just a couple of days ago, I believe five shootings in a matter of six hours with five people injured. Right. Uh, this this town, you got to say, this town is fed up with, with this kind of violence and stuff. And then, obviously, police are as well. So they did their absolute best to try to get these individuals into custody as quickly and as safely as possible. Four people now in custody there with Louisville Metro Police. One thing you have to uh, have to understand here, too, is how, how quickly they responded to the shooting accident, mm -hmm. or the shooting incident, mm -hmm. and, uh, and then uh, the pursuit uh, that followed. Um, of course, there will be questions, too, about... Uh, in the rush hour, 
um, should police have been uh, involved in a high-speed pursuit mm -hmm. uh, that could have endangered folks along the way? That question will certainly be raised. Um, I will imagine because of how high profile this particular situation has become. This is just a guess. I will say that out front, that police may hold a news conference at some point to detail and answer that specific question. We know their policy of if there has been a felony that's believed to have committed, they will engage in a chase. If not, they will not. But you can imagine they will be answering that question and addressing the decision to engage in this chase with mm -hmm. these four individuals in this particular vehicle during the five o'clock hour, the rush hour on a weekday afternoon. All right. Looks like things are pretty well wrapping up there. Uh, and we do not see uh, any of the suspects suspects in, in custody. But uh, we want to just give you an opportunity to go back and show you uh, some of the video of uh, this police chase where this started. Well, this is where it ended uh, on St. Catherine Street at Oak and Old Louisville. But uh, we're going to uh, bring you back after a break here and uh, let you see some of this uh, uh, replay of this high-speed police chase during the rush hour in Old Louisville and down Eastern Parkway.